Hey everyone! In this video, I'll share what my recent game Rescue Roach looks like and how the dev experience was with Feza 3. Let's get into it. So, recently my friend and I created a 2D top-down stealth game called Rescue Roach where you are Roach and trying to rescue your friend Roach, Fiona, out of a house of evils aka humans. We created this game because uh, we wanted to simulate how roaches would feel by being hated and chased around by humans just because of being creepy. It's a browser game so playable both in mobile and desktop. The game consists of several stages. In each stage, you seek a goal on the right bottom of the screen while hiding from the humans. You will win the game by completing all of the stages. The humans have triangle eyesight in red and if you go into it, they chase you to kill. Also, there are slimy traps in some stages that would kill you as well. There are two items in this game, one is a key to open the house, the other one is a powder which negates a slimy trap in the room. The powder is very important at the end of the game because depending on the amount of it, you can or cannot save Fiona. Things we paid attention to the most is a uh, roach movement to make it more realistic and creepy. To do that, we sync the animation speed with the movement velocity. The end result is, uh, I think, uh, speechless. And we also paid attention to how we animate items and goals to help usability. We made them blink to indicate they are something you can interact with. So that's the game. It's on the itch.io. I put the link in the description, so please play it. Let's move on to the dev experience with Feza 3. Feza 3 is a desktop and mobile HTML5 game framework. It's open source and free, and it focuses mainly on mobile browser. We chose Feza 3 simply because our common programming language was JavaScript, and also our target was mobile. Overall, I liked Feza 3 a lot. It's a JavaScript library after all, so you don't need compilation, just refreshing the page would reflect the changes. And together with things like live server, you just need to save the file to see the changes, which speeded up our development significantly. I also liked how Feza 3 provides simple and easy functions. It provides a scene class to group a level or story scene, which separate the code each other completely. This definitely helped us organize the code. Also, sprite animation is very easy to set up, and once created, it's usable anywhere across the scenes, which definitely prevented us from duplicating the code. You can also animate game object properties using Twins object. We used it for a black rectangle object to create fade in and out effect, and for roach and light objects to move in a story scene. One thing I can note as bad thing is that sometimes the error message does not make much sense. It just describes where in the library code went wrong, so we had to print out every possible relevant value to figure out where was wrong. So yeah, that's how I felt about Feza 3. I think it's very good for small and simple games, but when it comes to a larger and complex game, I think debugging is going to be tricky. Anyways, I'm happy that we are able to finish a game. I think the game turned out um, pretty funny. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I see you in the next one.